If you've ever wondered what the behind the scenes of a full-time content creator looks like, here's a video for you. For over nine years, I've been navigating the dynamic landscape of content creation once even becoming one of the fastest growing channels on the platform. From operating full-scale studios to the ebbs and flows of team management and collaborations with some of the most celebrated names in media. Today, you're stepping into my life. I'll be sharing with you how I prepare for a Forbes interview, my elevator pitch, how we're able to post on every single platform for literally 10 times a day. My best tips for planning every day of the week to be the most productive, how I organize brand deals with my team and everything from recording short form content like TikToks and Instagram and working with brands. I usually never get into the nitty gritty, but it's been requested a few times. So if you enjoy these kinds of video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, give it a thumbs down. That just kind of shows me how you feel about certain content. Also comment below which social media platform you'd like to get into. Hello you guys and welcome to a week in my life as a content creator, an influencer, whatever you want to call it. I was really inspired by Maya Pham's video. I actually commented like a very long time ago when she posted this, like the behind the scenes of what it's like. Here we are in the Natalie's Outlet Incorporated. I think it's really cool. We have an interview with Forbes. Forbes, darling. That's right, yes. Your girl is representing Hispanic Heritage Month. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Francis from Snapchat. Francis, you are amazing. We love you. He landed me this really cool opportunity. I got to be like spotlighted and actually spotlight a bunch of other small businesses, Latin owned small businesses, which was incredible. I love giving a platform and like the voice to that because representation matters. So what I love about like these interviews, first and foremost, they're not in person. So I get to like write my answers on the side. I actually like chat gpt a few of my answers sometimes it just kind of helps so i have like 20 minutes up until that the good thing about me is on notion i'm very organized and i have kind of like a spiel like a pitch that i just kind of utilize for every single interview so i'll give you like a little example like hello everyone i'm natalie the face behind natalie's outlet a youtube channel with over 11 million community members my socials are all about spreading positivity and making life more enjoyable blah blah, blah. so i kind of go into that i have like a few other ones but i really recommend if you are a content creator have a little elevator pitch have it somewhere sometimes I keep it in my notes but like this will help you a lot because you're gonna get the same question asked over and over and one of the hardest things in my personal opinion to do is introduce yourself like it just is so much hard it's like difficult so be prepared amazing honey it went amazing let's do a little celebration dance Some shorts. So Dennis is the shorts guy. He is the one in charge of all of that. He posts on Snapchat, he posts on Take Tag, he posts on your email. He's my <laughs> manager. He's got that manager mentality. All right, one of the very first things I do is I go into my little Essie planner. I already planned out my entire day. Look how cute, like I'm so organized and I love it. So this morning I did prioritize my morning routine. Very, very happy about that. So we can cross that off. Also, I prepped for the interview, Forbes interview, we did that. Next thing on the agenda is I did a brand deal with CVS, one of my favorites. There's nothing better as a creator than doing long year brand deals because you're really building like a connection with them. So I have to do something with that. Being your own boss requires you to be like, what do I do next? Like there is no manual for this. So a lot of the times I'm literally just standing here like thinking, like I'll be like, <laughs> and I catch myself sometimes in vlogs. Like, so what was I thinking in that moment? What am I gonna do next? This is the reality guys. We are setting out little fires. What do they call it? Emergencies. <laughs> we have a brand deal that we need to get back to and it's very last minute. And this is the reality. You gotta be flexible and smile through the pain. Okay, this is the dress that I'm going for. And look at my room. It's never been this messy. I say that because I'm actually kind of embarrassed. One of the things I'm loving about these videos already is that I feel like you get to go in through the chaos. I ended up getting this dress off this one site called Newly. I saw Allison Bickerstaff talk about it. I'm obsessed with her videos, first of all. And I saw her talk about the service. You get to rent clothing. And I feel like for what I do, that's a great idea because girl, the last thing I want to do is be shopping for like cute clothes for like my TikToks or for stuff like that. And I can just literally rent some stuff. It comes in. I see whether I like it or not. And then if you want, you can buy it. So this is a cute dress. I think this is an anthropology or free people. This is the vibe for today. I love hanging out with you. I think it's really fun. Ooh. 
so interesting how you start to see yourself age. It's honestly also a privilege to age. We don't all get that opportunity. It is kind of supposed to feel more fall-like, so maybe I'll put on a sweater. I don't really know. Necklace options. We have this one. Honestly, this job could get a little overwhelming, and right now, we downsized in our team, so it's honestly just like Dennis and myself day-to-day. Tamina -day. left. Well, no, we also have our editors. Hello. Like, shout out to them. I think it was just about being grateful. These are really fun. I got these in Colombia, and you just kind of get to put them um, here. So it just looks like you have a cute little piercing. Here is the OOTD. No shoes because you're not going to look down there. All right, here is the setup that you guys always see. The way that this works, shout out to Tresemme. That's who we're sponsoring today. What's up, girl? So the way that this works is I go in here on monday.com. Monday is like we, we keep all our systems. I always love seeing this type of stuff because I think it's very important. This helps me a lot because obviously there's like emails, but then it's like, what is the final thing? So we go in here, we put the brand, the products, deliverables, creative, the terms and you know all that good stuff and then i put like my little brain dump section so i can like actually think straight and not get overwhelmed and then deliverables like my concept what i send them and then their feedback and dishes what we're filming so i'm getting all the supplies ready which is something that usually samina would do for me i miss her so much if you follow the podcast you know who i'm talking about she was amazing okay on to filming let's get it girl All right, this is like the more embarrassing side of the influencing world. I feel like my Instagram has really sucked. It's October and I'm gonna be changing very soon and I think this is very cute. This is stupid, but this is what it takes. Influencing 101. <laughs> oh, sh All right, that's not gonna look cute there, but I think we might as well just leave it open. Okay, so one thing that I wanna do is I wanna create like a little carousel. Promoting my best me journal, looking cute. We have some cute little props. You can't even see them because girl. Anyways, let me just move on with my life. Dennis being an artist. By the way, you guys have been loving it. I've been loving reading all the comments, especially for those of you who have ADHD. It has just helped you stay organized. And I feel like the template itself is very simple, but very straightforward. Currently working on a physical journal. Honestly, the pictures turned out so bad. Here are the pictures. Okay, little update. I just finished this new hair, new outfit, which means new picture because here's the thing. I try to like bulk a lot of my work because homegirl is not dressed up every day. And I think that's why I kind of struggle with coordinating like, how do I want to look for YouTube? Like if there's any platform where I'm very much organic, if, especially if it's in vlogs, it would be YouTube. I wanted to share this book that I think is very, very good. It's Influencer Building Your Personal Brand in the Age of Social Media. But what I think is really cool is they actually offer you templates on things that you can say to brands on how to negotiate for yourself and i think it's a really great like beginner starter book i feel like i've really been slacking on instagram but for tiktok prior to columbia i literally would post every single day at 1 p.m eastern time so the way that i would do it is i would bulk a bunch of content i call it tiktok tuesday um the week before i would plan it out i would like buy materials for it usually i'm reacting to like products or just testing out different things for myself but i'm trying to like switch up the content a little bit and that's been messing with with my algorithm and my views. But I find that like with content creation, you need to experiment, right? So I'm kind of going through like a phase of I'm trying to experiment how to incorporate more like offline human stuff and to do a little bit less like reaction. That's what I'm working on. So Dennis and I are having a little Instagram shoot and he prepared all of this professional stuff and I'm like all we need is our phone honey we're having a little offline day here in a beautiful trail I'm just over here journaling I got this one in Colombia which is adorable and then this is something I had purchased a while back in Amazon but I just love how like rustic and pretty it looks hey, get your own shot okay. <laughs> Uh oh, I felt the first rain drop. Are right, you guys, this is the reality. Everything is wet. It is raining. And people are so festive. And we're actually gonna head over to Michael's, one of my favorite stores, and just browse around, shop around, take some fun little pictures. Hey, Judy. This is the second outfit. I did these cool little double ponytails, which I thought was super fun off of TikTok. Really cute. I did a little tutorial on TikTok as well. And then the outfit is this really fun sweater that I got from Free People. Really cute. It has pockets. It feels very fall, and it's nice for like Florida weather. And I have my cute little Birkenstocks with some socks on, and it's not a great shoe to wear when it's raining, but we're gonna do 
our best. I actually haven't taken some time to fill out my best me journal this time. And I feel like my month hasn't been bad, but it hasn't felt very intentional. So I'm gonna fill this out to think about really what I wanna get done this month. Career and business, focus more on offline humans and getting into a flow. I also think it would be really fun to prepare the shipping room. I don't know, is that too soon? So that's my intentions for the month. I would love if you guys shared yours. If you don't already have the Best Me journal, it kind of all concises it for you, or you can literally just journal this separately on a piece of paper. I'd love to hear what you guys are, what your purpose this month is.